Hey there, it's Carrie, and I'm here making a voiceover YouTube video. What? Yeah, I haven't really done one of these, so I hope you like it. So what brings me to make something like this, rather than an animation or a drawing? Well, over the summer, I had been out of pre-college, taking classes and such. I took a character design class, so I decided to do a fun little character designing exercise with some of my unused and old OCs. I chose three out of the 50 billion I've made over the years. I would generally just have the basic cat body as a base and then add some tufts of fur, scars, and odd patterning to create a character. But I have really missed out on what made the character who they are, like their history and meaning. So I went on this website, writingexercises.com, and generated some character traits to add onto these older characters. I generated one profession and three adjectives. Let's start off with Cord. Cord has been used in a couple of my animations. He served no other purpose than to be one of those villainous characters that goes around murdering people on Halloween night. Well, he's still a cyborg, but now he is an oil rig worker. I know, the fuck. <laughs> To start adding character, I would get some reference images. If this was for a character in a story or, you know, a character I would use more than twice, then I would I would even research on what they do for their profession and even for like the personality traits and cultures and stuff. I would research all of that. But for the sake of time, I just snagged some reference photos for an oil rig worker and some cyborg stuff. This one has to be my least favorite out of the three, but it's still effective in what I was trying to do. I had actually forgotten to record me at adding some spots of oil on his vest and arm, as well as the sweat on his forehead to indicate that he is a hard worker, as the trait says. Wow! So next up is Slick. And yes, I am aware of how awful these freaking names are. I made Slick because I found a brown basilisk right outside of my house and I thought they were really cool. And that's it for her original design. But now, she is a criminal. A very nurturing, secretive, and materialistic criminal. So I snagged some references of a brown basilisk and an outfit and quickly sketched one out. She was just there and I never used her. I decided to make her a klepto <laughs> that grabs anything shiny and hides it in her oversized jeans. She probably has her own room that has fine jewelry and such protected by glass on a wall. Wow! And last, but never least, dun dun, <laughs> or Swift, my, fir <laughs> my first persona from 2013 to 2016. Not much to say here. I went crazy on the colors. It was, it's. That was a wild phase. <laughs> I'll show some pictures of her evolution until I dumped her out for sore. She's now an art historian who is eccentric and charming. I didn't like the first pose and the proportions were horrific, so I decided to change them. She's just wear she's wearing very simple clothes. She's probably guiding some people around a museum teaching. Yeah, and I gave her glasses to look more nerdy. So, thank you guys for watching, uh, this has been my first voiceover video, and I'm excited to see how it does. If it does well, then yay, but if there's any tips and tricks that you guys know about character design, you can totally comment on it, and I'll, you know, help each other out. Like the video and even, if you even want to. Subscribe. I do art. I draw characters. I animate. Please subscribe. I need.